All right, time for more of the Argonaut Weekly here at GoArgos.com. Rob Walden along with Chelsea Wilhoyt, senior from the volleyball team. And I tell you, another good week for volleyball. They went 3-1. and one. First, they beat St. Leo on Thursday. Then they went down to Florida Southern for the regional crossover. Got victories over Florida Southern and Lynn, sandwiched uh, around a loss to number 3 Tampa. So... I know the loss to Tampa took a little bit of the shine off the week, but still, 3-1 and one against very good competition. All three of the teams you guys beat could easily end up in the NCAA tournament in a month or so. You guys really have to feel good about the way you play it. Yeah, I think uh, all the teams we played this weekend brought a lot of good volleyball out of us, and it kind of tested our limits and really like hammered home what we really need to work on in order to be prepared for the regional tournament because those teams will be there. You know, I noticed you guys practiced earlier in the week uh, leading up to these matches, you know, winning tight games, games that, that were going to go down to the wire where one or two points made the difference, and I thought that really paid off. Uh, you know, the St. Leo match obviously went five. Lynn was four very close games. Florida Southern, even though it was a sweep, was three very close games. How do you feel like you guys, uh, or do you feel like you guys prepared during the week for those situations and that it paid off? Yeah, I think Coach uh, really um, made sure that we knew that we could win tight games. And um, she put us, would put scores on the board, you know, 15, 13, and, you know, we had to win the tw first to 25, you know. So things like that um, where we knew during the week that we had done it so we could do it again the weekend. Two victories came in hostile environments. You know, St. Leo was a, a packed gym. They had a, a pep rally later that night for their basketball teams. Florida Southern, obviously, that victory was in their gymnasium. Do you guys feel like as the year has gotten, ha has gone along, that you've gotten better about winning in hostile environments? Um, yeah, I think we don't get to play in them very often, but I think when we do play them, I think it brings a different kind of element to the game that it's, it's very exciting. So. I think it gets your adrenaline pumping, and you just got to pretend that they're not cheering for the other team. The one loss that you guys had this week was to Tampa, ranked number three in the nation. Of course, they have been ranked number one at different points this season. But the first two games were very close. Dropped the first one, won the second one. The, the second two games weren't as close. But do you feel like there are things you can take from that match to help you the next time you see Tampa? Because that could easily be a matchup. Uh, in the regionals coming up in a month or so. Uh, yeah, I definitely think that we scared Tampa when we played them. I, the first time we played them during the season, you know, they swept us in three. And right. this time, you know, we came out with fight and we just kind of lost it in games three and four. But I think they definitely know what West Florida Volleyball is going to be by the end of the season. So I think they've got to be prepared for the next time they see us. So this weekend, you guys pretty much established yourselves as better than most of the teams in the Sunshine State Conference. Now we got to go back to GSC play uh, this weekend. West Georgia and Valdosta State, two huge matches. You guys are in a three-way tie with Valdosta State and North Alabama for the GSC East crown. Uh, obviously, the <clears throat> obviously, these are two hugely important games this weekend. Yeah, definitely. I think in this point in our season, where we are in our conference, um, we have to win the rest of our conference games. So uh, any game that we drop in, in our conference is very important, and we don't want to take any chances. So we want to go home or go to Valdosta and West Georgia this weekend, take care of business, and get out of there as fast as we can. Argo swept both of those teams earlier this year at home, and of course the winner of the GSC East hosts the GSC Tournament coming up in about a month's time. So three volleyball matches this weekend, Tuesday against Mobile. You can watch that live right here at GoArgos.com. Then this weekend, Friday and Saturday, against West Georgia and Valdosta State. You can listen to both of those matches live right here at GoArgos.com. Another great week for volleyball. And, of course, you can continue to follow Melissa Walters' volleyball squad right here at GoArgos.com.